Taylor, student ID E3186235, spring semester 2018. Today we're going to learn how to clip a dog's nails. This is Gertie, the Australian Shepherd. She's very cute. Um, today for nail clippings we have our nail trimmers and then quick stop. If the dog nail bleeds we need this in case of that. So typically, you know, sometimes you need a restrainer to hold, but Gertie's a good girl, so hopefully we can just get this done today. And what you're gonna do, and she has a lot of hair on her nails, so we wanna move that hair back and clip that white tip off, which her nails needed a clipping. So we're gonna clip all of her little nails, and then I'll show you where the quick is. So the quick is this pink part of the white nail, and we don't want to cut that. We want to avoid that because that will make it bleed. And I'll show you if that ever happens, what we need to do. So if her nail ever bleeds, you want to put this quick stop on. It's this yellow powder, and you just take a little bit in your finger, or you can use the lid, and we're just going to apply that to the nail. In a couple tries, it will stop bleeding. And then we're going to move on to the next paw. Same thing, just move back that hair so you can see where you're clipping. And you want to get that whole white tip off, but avoid the quick. And that is how you clip a dog's nails. Today we're going to learn how to clip a cat's nails. This is Binks. So for your supplies, you need a nail clippers, and you also need quick stop in case you clip the nail too short. Uh, with cats, you really want to put them high up on a table. Don't come at them on the ground. Um, and then you need to extract their nails. So it's different than a dog. You need to be able to see their nails. And then we're going to do is clip right with cats right before the pink. Come see. So as you see, he's got the quick you can see. Thanks. And I'm clipping just the tip off right before that pink part, which is the quick. Just clipping all the nails. I'm going to turn them around. Hey, buddy. And sometimes you do need a restrainer if they're wiggly. And then don't forget their dew claw. And then look at the back ones. And then in case you do quick the nail, you want to put some quick stop on it. I'm going to just show you how. It's just this powder. And you want to apply that, some of it, to the nail. And it'll stop bleeding for you. And that's how you clip a cat's nails. Today we are going to learn how to hand pill a dog. It is a faster way and to make sure that they really get the pill because sometimes putting it in a pill pocket or canned food or cheese they don't always eat it or they eat around the pill so what you want to do is have your pill ready and you're going to lift up <laughs> this is Gertie you're going to lift up her head and then what you want to do is with your hand hold her top of her mouth open and then you want to be able to stick that pill all the way back in her throat like so, 
and then hold her mouth and rub down and make sure she swallows that pill. And sometimes you maybe want to blow on their mouth. And that's it. She swallowed her pill. Okay. We're going to learn how to pill a cat. Um, this is Bing. He's a sweet boy. And with cats, you sometimes need a restrainer to hold. Um, but I have my pill here. And what you're going to want to do is with your hands, just hold his jaw. And then you're going to open his mouth and you're going to stick that pill right there behind his tongue and he has to swallow. And you just want to rub it down and he swallowed the pill. Hi, today we are going to learn how to free catch urine. This is Roosevelt, the Labrador Retriever. I have him on a leash. It's very important that you hold, you know, walk the dog on a leash and stand behind him when you're catching urine. You also need something to catch it in and today I'm going to use just a regular stainless steel bowl that we have here at the clinic and always encourage your dog to use the bathroom. Come on Roo, go pee pee. And when they go to urinate you want to wait about two, one to two seconds afterwards and then catch the urine. Urine. And that is how you do a free catch. Today we're going to learn how to apply a gauze muzzle on Roosevelt. For him, since he's over 50 pounds, we need to use a two inch gauze. Um, and what you want to do is always go behind the dog, never come toward the dog. You may startle him. Um, and then we have to get it in a loop. And then what we're going to do is put it over his muzzle and you want to tie it tight enough so he doesn't move and open his mouth. And then you go under and you loop it again and then you're going to come behind his ears and tie it just for a quick release when you're ready to take it off. You just quick release it and undo it. And that is how you apply it. 